Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. Now, today, chums, I want to upgrade the brand new hauler that I got on my PlayStation D5 save. Yes. So let's jump on over into game and let's see if we can find some modules for it, shall we, people? Because right now I haven't done much to it. Let me just bring up my starship on here. I've called it the Racer Vulture because I think it looks a little bit like the Racer Crest. You can see here it's got very limited sort of slottage. So we're going to sort that out first. So I'm just in any old station at the moment. Now all I'm going to do, because I've upgraded ships a billion and one times, I'm just going to pop myself into creative mode and I'm going to go and get it up to its highest of class and make it as awesome as I possibly can when it comes to slottage and slots. So let's head on over here then. Go into here. And I want to upgrade starship. Boom. Sweet. And apply augmentation, but let's let's do the class first. I think it's already an S class. It is an S class. Apply augmentation then. And I'm gonna start in the technology section. Might as well. Go to town in there. You can see there my uh, boosted slots are quite spread out. Now there is a video on how you can actually get boosted slots all together for your ship. Now, I'm not really somebody that chases numbers when it comes to my ships, because in No Man's Sky, you don't really need to have something super duper OP to do what you need it to do. I just I just don't see the point in going to town to try and chase a couple of extra points here and there. But if you do want to get all your boosted slots in a nice little unit, so you got all of them clumped together, for your actual starship, that tab there. At f Ooh, what is it? Hero to you. He, he's done a really good video. I'll put a video link up there. Go hit that one up. And it shows you how to build your own iron vulture with boosted slots all in a grid. Yeah, check that video out up there. If I can find it, that is peeps. Right now, well, we've got all of our slottages in. Now let's go and have a look at the ship merchant. And let's go see what the ship merchant's got for sale. I'm hoping they've got some decent S-Class modules under their counter. Hello there, my friend. Yes, um, after, I would like the Positron Ejector. That's what I would really like inside of this. Okay, let's have a look then. So we've got Silotron. Mm, no. I do... Oh, we've got the Starship Shield module. Yes, we, we'll be buying that. He has got Positron, but it's it's not the one I want. No. And I'm not, I don't want to put too many weapons inside of this ship because you end up cycling through them and missing what you need. I want it for a very specific task. It's going to be my resource gathering ship when I'm building bases and things like that. Anyway, so if I go into here, I should be able to install this inside of my shipity ship. And also, to be honest, shields is probably one of the things that I want to boost. So I'm not really bothered about hyperdrive range, just not. So I'm going to stick that over there. My shields are going to be boosted and I might even boost the uh, Positron Ejector once I get it. And that's going to be my double boosted. But other than that, I might try and boost the actual pulse engines just to get it moving that little bit quicker, you know. Anyway, all the stuff that I'm not going to be needing to get any uh, adjacency bonuses. I can just whack all that down here somewhere. Uh, I, might, I might do up the photon cannons. Or I might actually even delete the photon cannons. I'll put all the scanners down here out the way. Okay, cool. Right, so that's the starting sort of block. We've got a S-class shield. Now, because I want to get fully upgraded shields, I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship. That creates a save. And then I'm just going to do a reload. And once I reload back in, I should be able to go and buy another one of those those S-Class modules. Yeah, so sadly, this is still a thing. You know, ship vendors, they don't sell more than one module at a time. So this is gameplay. You know, if you want to go and buy another one, you have to reload. It's a little bit mental. I mean, yes, if you came back the following day, you know, that's kind of the same thing. It's, it's going to you know, move over. Or if you turn your platform off and back on again, a bit freaking overkill to be fair it'd be nice if you could buy up to three modules i mean that's the max before it breaks anyway i really wish hello games would tweak that because the whole idea of buying something installing it then reloading it to me is just dead time it's it's, it's not gameplay is it 
It's not fun. No one's no one's getting any enjoyment out of this. Save cycling. You know, I've got to run all the way back to my ship, jump in my ship, out of my ship, do another reload to go buy a module. Yeah, it it, it it's not, is it? It's not fun. Okay, right. Well, I've got the shields installed. I've just installed these as well, which is pretty darn sweet. And I should be able to install an extra addition for the actual you know, photon cannons. So let's get that in there too. Might as well have photon cannons and positron ejector is what I'm thinking, people. And I'm going to put all my warpy drives here. So I might as well get the, some of the warp drives in anyway. So we want the idiom drive. That's got to go in. So I'm still inside a creative mode right now. So I can go to town with this a little bit. I could put in the emergency warp unit to get myself out of places. If I'm in a bit of a jam, let's put that in there too. I might want to move the bolt caster away a bit. Oh, I call it bolt caster. It's the positron ejector, isn't it? But there we go. So I should be able to get some warp ones in there once I find them. This is where my positron ejector is going to go. So we might as well put in this little bit of tech. I'm going to be putting S-Class modules there as and when I find them. Sweet. And then over here, this is where my pulse drive is going to be. So my actual engines. So I stick that in there. Flight assist override. I oh, don't really want that. We don't really want drift, especially if we want to hover in place. So be careful what you install. There you go. I want this one in there. Lovely. And what else can I stick in here? I think there's a couple, isn't there? Fuel efficiency. There we go. We'll stick that in there. I put an S-Class one there, one there, one there. And that should do us, I think. Okay, it's getting there, people. It's getting there. It's starting to take shape. But now what I need to do is go from system to system looking for the other modules that I want. Now, because I've visited a lot of stations, and I'd imagine you guys have too, I can go to this teleporter terminus, lock it onto space stations, and what I tend to do is go from the bottom of my list and work my way back up. So it's just a case of going through each of these, going to visit the vendor, and seeing what modules they have. Okay, chums, the first station I went to actually sells the positron modules that I'm after. Got phase beam, oh, Starship Shields right there. Hyperdrive as well. Brilliant. Okay, so I can buy the hyperdrive. I've already done the shields now. I haven't bothered with phase beam and I'm probably not going to. So I get the positron ejector as well. So yeah, this is pretty good. All I then need is pulse drives. And um, maybe some more of the photon cannons. So anyway, let's get this installed. And we'll be sticking that around here. So I need one there and one there. And then I'm going into the positron ejector. Where are you, positron ejector? That's mining beam. No, positron ejector. There it is. Lovely. I'll stick that there. Now what I'm going to do before I actually jump in my ship out of my ship and do a reload is I'm just going to move some stuff about. I'm going to clear these three slots up here. Just so anything new that I get is going to go in there. What the fudge? Why did, why did I get a happiness item? Where did that come from? That's um, random. Move that there. wonder if I move this around, whether it does that. that that's bizarre. Okay, well, I'll stick this down here then. Yeah, I've not got any other happiness items. Just start appearing inside of my space. That was random as you like. I've cleared some space there, so whenever I get S-Class modules now, they're going to be at the top of my list, just because it makes it a bit easier. I used to look after my inventory quite a lot. Yeah, gave up on that. Cool, let's jump in. We need an auto-sort button, don't we, really? Okay, Jim, something that I do definitely want inside of this is my rocket launchers. So I've just installed the warp drives and all that sort of stuff, but here we go. There goes the rocket launchers. Get that in, and one more for rocket launchers. There we are. Chicka pow. Right, I've got my rocket launchers there. What I might do is just move this bolt, this uh, positron eject, the photon cannon over here as well. So all my weapons are in this block. My little engines are over here, and all the other stuff's over this side. That's that's kind of how I'm going with it. I don't want too many weapons in this. I don't want it to be overkill. I don't want to have to keep cycling through weapons to find what I'm after. Uh, the only reason I'm leaving in the photon cannon 
is just in case I overheat with the Positron Ejector, I've got a secondary weapon to swap to just while it cools down. And yeah, I've got my rockets in as well anyway. Lovely. Okay, so now I need to find pulse engines so I can do this block up. Lovely. Um, I've already got my shields done. I also want to find some more launch thruster type stuff to put over here too to boost that. So um, I don't have to keep refueling all the time. But I think I'm good. In fact, I might move the sh these um, scanners and everything over here. Mainly because I think once I get all these launch thruster bits in, they're going to be taking up a big swathe of the portion down here. Okay. Well, I, I think this is going quite nicely. Let me show you my... Oh, there's no point in showing you the stats until I'm really done at the moment. But yeah, because the maneuverability hasn't been touched yet. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to go back down to the terminal down here the terminus this thing and i'm going to hit up the next station on the list so we go space stations and i'm going all the way down to the bottom and i'm hitting up the next one fingers crossed we get lucky again people yes yeah, so for me i would rather have spread out boosted slots so i can give a little bit into the areas where i'm, I'm trying to cater my starship you know however like I said, I, I gave a link earlier. If you do want them all clustered together, so you want to make a proper warship, that's probably the best way to do it. Or if you want to make one with a long warp drive. But I don't. You see, I, I tend to warp a lot using my freighter. Scan a system so I know what planets are there. And then fly out in the ship that I want to do the task I want. So I kind of use my freighter a lot. Hold on, we've gone to the wrong freaking vendor, haven't we? Okay, right, so let's have a look at the signs above. It's this one over here that I want. Do these vendors move slightly? Oh no, I think I came up the opposite side of the ramp. That's why it feels back to front. Okay, cool. Let's go into here. Purchase upgrade modules. And what have you got? Launch thrusters. We got ha we got and photon cannon. Okay, we we got freaking lucky there. Infra knife. I like that for taking out Sentinel class destroyers and also the new pirate dreadnoughts. However. I've got my Sentinel ship for that task. This ship is going to be very different when it comes to its tasks. Okay, so here we go. Let's put in the old photon cannons. Photon cannons are going there. Lovely jubbly. And we've got our pot. We've got our launch thrusters as well. Nice. Okay, I think he had one more pigeon. Let's just go back in there. So we we do need the pulse engines, but he's only got pink there. Infra knife, one more. No, he's got no more S classes in there. All right, well that's that's good. Two more modules down, people. And now it's the case of having to jump in my ship, out of my ship, do a reload, and I reconvene with you in about two more reloads time after I've got that in. Oh, I love the colour inside of here. This is epic, isn't it? Something that people have pointed out to me inside of the comments is when you actually jump in your ship, it doesn't make a sound. And when you jump out of the ship, the only sound that you hear is the teleporting sound. There's no sound effect for the opening and closing of the cockpit. That's something that needs to be fixed. Hello, games. Fuck yeah. Right, oh, well, that's all installed, Akata. This is looking smashing, super lovely and fandangly. Right, so now all I need is the pulse drive. Now, this is going to be a little bit tougher to locate, I think, isn't it? It's, it always takes a little while to home into the last piece that you need to your jigsaw puzzle. Right, oh, so we're going to the third station. Oh, no, we're not, because look, it's got no sort of data there. So that one's probably a busted unit of space, I would imagine. Yeah, look, it's got X's. And I can't go to that one because it's pirates. So we're going to this one here. Chikapow! People, you will believe it. I've just hit the freaking jackpot. It's here. There it is. That's, that's never happened before. All three space stations that I went to in a row have given me everything that I need to get this done. Okay, cool. Well, let's pick that up and let's go and stick this over here and put that on the boosted slot. And I want to put one there, one there, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be doing two more reloads and then I reconvene and show you the stats of my ship. And then I'll show you why I've actually put it the way that I've put it and show you the function that it's going to have for me. Oh, I like the colours in here as well. It's quite sort of like like a spectrum game or something, doesn't it? OK, chums, well, that's the last module in. Now, you could re-roll stuff if you really wanted to. But like I say, I don't really chase numbers. So I'm just going with whatever I've got. I've got. So here we go. Let's just take me off the screen for a bit. 
Here's my stats. Damage potential 176.3. Shield strength 478.7. Hyperdrive range 1319.4. And manoeuvrability 629.3. Okay, well, I'm, I'm pretty happy with those stats. I'm probably not going to be re-rolling anything. I mean, yes, you can probably get a little bit higher using S, um, X class modules from pirate systems. But you know what? This is all about just gaining resources, this ship. So let's go and see it in action, shall we, people? Let's just jump in my ship, out of my ship, make sure I've got this saved in its current form. Lovely. And let's fly on out. And let's go and have a look what planets are inside of the system. It, it doesn't matter which planet I fly to. I mean, yes, you are going to get different resources depending on where you do this. But I think this one... I think this one might be a swamp planet, but it doesn't overly matter, like I say. Misty planet, yes, activated copper. Let's just hope there's no storms raging when I fly in here. Right, so if I use my positron ejector right now, as you can see just above my head, positron ejector. Lovely jubbly. Because this hauler hovers in place, like so, you can just sort of sit here. Shoot the heck out of stuff. Get myself a load of carbon. Like so. Loads and loads of carbon. You could shoot creatures if you fancy a bit of murdication. But, you know, I've got my rockets as well. I can swap to my um, photon cannons. Goodbye tree. Look at this. Get a load of dehydrogen. It's just a ship for resource gathering. No more zapping rocks or trees for me. I'll just sit here all day, just gathering resources in my ship if I want to. I don't think they're destructible. Watch out, little dinosaur thing! How? Take that tree. I mean, yeah, it takes a little bit longer to blow stuff up, but... I mean, it says it's doing no damage there. Bit odd, that. There we go, get a bit closer. You will be mine, tree, I guess. That's weird. Normally trees aren't a problem. I end up blowing my ship up if I'm not careful. Right oh. But you get the point. It's here to gather resources. There's a load of carbon there, dehydrogen. You can see it all popping up just here next to me. Look at look at all the resources I'm getting. If I go over to my actual ship now, look how much stuff I've got just from shooting the planet. It's 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 freaking awesome. There's a little evil plant there. Get some oxygen as well. Nice. Lovely, lovely. Condensed carbon. I don't know whether the phase beam would be any better for like harvesting the trees and things or... I don't know whether that account as like an advanced mining laser. But this is pretty much what I was hoping to actually achieve. Anyway, there's a nice little place to land over here. So let's go land. So that's my purpose of my ship. This is going to be my resource gathering ship. And I'm pretty much going to be using it just every time I want to build a base. If I don't want to go into creative mode, that is. Because that is always an option too. But it's nice to have a ship with function. But this ship will also handle itself quite well in a battle. You know, it's, it's got close range, it's got long range. So I'm quite happy with it as a bit of an all-rounder ship. I could happily go out into space with this one and, you know, encounter a space battle. In fact, I'll go see if I can find a little battle to get involved in. I'll reconvene in a second. We'll show it in space combat. Okay, I'm just going to pick up a battle. Hunt low-level pirates. We'll go do that one. Start missione. I guess. Let's go do this. Let's go take out this low-level pirate scourge. Okay. 
Come on then, Razor Vulture. We've got pirates to take out. It's not going to be good against the giant pirate dreadnoughts. No. It won't be good against those. Um, the best weapon against those is a Positron Ejector. Great, I'm going to flow back into the station if I'm not careful. There he goes, over here. Let's go get him. Hopefully I've cleared the station I have. Let's get over there. I'm Ten seconds away. Sweet. I'm going to take out this pirate scutter. I'm coming for thee, you roused about. Heck yeah. I don't really want my wingman to assist. So if they do appear, I will dismiss them. And we've arrived at Cated. Let's go and encounter him. Hiya, hiya. Oh, Jesus. Okay, right. I'm going to get rid of my, um, my wingman. I can... There you go. Hopefully that's got rid of them. Take that, you... Kaboom! You're done! I guess. That's one down anyway. I think there's another one. Where are you? Get rid of his shields with my photon cannon. And then I think I'll use my missiles. Chikaba! Oh, you're now space junk! Ha 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 ha! Holy fudge. Okay, my well, wingman have popped out. Yeah, that is a little bit annoying, the wingman, isn't it? Having to sort of dismiss them all the time. They just confuse me. I end up shooting at my wingman rather than the enemy. Pow! You're done, my friend. You're brown bread. Whoops, wrong weapon. Not that it overly matters. Pow! Rockets to the face. Let's just use the Positron Injection Cannon on this guy. Let's just... Let's see if we can shred the shields and his hull using the one weapon. At close range, heck yes we can. That was another hauler that I just took out there. Lovely jubbly. We've got three pirates attacking. Let's leave my wingman out this time. I can't be bothered to despawn them. Keep them distracted, my wingman. I've only got two wingmen. They they still get on my freaking nerves. I was contemplating just getting rid of wingmen altogether, but I keep them. Boom! You're done, my friend. I guess. Another one over here. Yeah, these low-level pirates do come in quite a large grouping now, don't they? Take that. Heck yes, we've got loads of pirate transponders, we've completed the mission, we can head back to the station and tell them just how awesome we've been. I guess, I'll see you at the station people. So yeah, just as a heads up people, I was in normal mode for that battle, and you can see in the top corner over there, my shields did take a hammering, but they still held out the whole sort of skirmish. So yeah, I'd say it's, it's working, it's working okay. I mean, it's not there for combat, this ship. This ship is... I mean, it will handle itself if we get attacked by pirates. I can fend for myself. I could probably escape, you know, if if things got too tough. But it's not there for war. This is here to make me some money. It's my money shaker, I guess. Let's, uh, let's jump on out. Let's go turn in the old mission. But yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this ship. I think this ship's a lovely little ship. I'm probably going to be using it quite a lot. That and also my Sentinel ship, because my Sentinel ship is quite good for resource gathering anyway, because that hovers in place too. But then so does my Starborn Runner, which is also quite cool. Now, something to note though, people, is if you don't like this hauler all that much, if you just take the wings off of it and put the wings on another hauler that you do like the actual configuration of, it gives you that hover in place type motion. So, yeah, that's, it's just the wings, these wings that give you that sort of ability. Yes, these lovely wings that you can fly through. Bizarre. Okay, jump in my ship that is muted. Yes, it's a silent ship. Look at that. Done. And I think that's this episode, people. I think that concludes what we're up to today.
So yeah, people inside the view of us, thank you very much for tuning in and watching me upgrade my Razor Vulture. Hopefully it's given you food for thought on how you want to go about doing yours. Um, but yeah, hope, hopefully you found a use for your Razor Vulture, I mean your Iron Vulture, whatever you've called yours as well. Let us know in the comments, what have you called yours? What are you using yours for? Be interested to hear your take. I mean, yes, mine is a resource gathering ship for planet surfaces. I haven't made a ship for just mining asteroids. Maybe my shuttle. But then I'm waiting for Hello Games to add more ship parts in now, you know? Because why not? Might as well wait. When we get given another ship, you know, you know, and something I was thinking though, people, now that we've been given the ability to do ship customization, we've got loads of different types of ship and we've been given the golden vector. We've been given the utopia speeder. We've now been given this as well, the iron, iron vulture. There's a lot of ships that we've been gifted and also, you know, living ship. Well, that's four ship slots gone already. You know, that, that's a massive swathe of our portions. We've only, we can only have 12 ships right now. I kind of hope that Hello Games maybe gives us double that, 24, you know? Maybe if we could own two freighters and we keep half of our ships in one freighter and other ships in another, I don't know. Or maybe we have to build an actual base or a shipyard, I don't know. I don't know how they can implement it. I mean, they could just put it on the actual list that we've got now, just increase it. But um, I'm running out of ship slots. If they give us one more ship in an expedition or something, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to make some very hard decisions in which ship I need to sacrifice. And I don't really want to be put into that position. I love all the ships I've got now. It'd be nice to be able to have a few more. Anyway, sound off on that idea. What do you think? Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Captain Steve Jackson.